Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where I'm trying to beat the game on a unprecedented amount of difficulty. Uh, against the Hive. Today it's Operation Winter Beast. Uh, we are ready to go for a codex, a couple of other uh, stuff, lead the shield bearer and so on and so forth. And I have to wonder, should we take uh, the Skulljack? Are we going to risk it? I think we are. Let's try to do that and still use two ghost grenades. Uh, since it's a VIP mission, I will use the ghost grenades kind of as a method uh, to get out of there. Whilst using all of uh, my operatives uh, to uh, to shoot down whatever we can until we're running out of <coughs> cooldowns and resources and then we're just going to flee like little bitches. Uh, that is the name of the game of VIP missions. Apparently the game likes us because that's one of the few types of missions which can easily be done with uh, ghost grenades. And I figured why wouldn't we not do that. So off we go into another interesting mission. Alright, we landed. Let's give it a look. 12 rounds. Typical move. Up all the way over there. Oh, and we got ourselves an elite trooper with uh, lightning reflexes and complete immunity. Well, tell you what, Mr. Elite Trooper, you're going to be our eyes and ears out here. Ooh, codex, okay. We will need to move in with the skulljack to initiate the process. Um let's move to here. I really would like to skulljack uh, them. Great spots have already been taken, so let's move over here. Stepping off. Cool. So they are moving slightly further away instead of towards us. Um, let's pull them. We have plenty of grenades. Oh, a shoggoth. Okay. What can we theoretically get out of the hack? Eh, not good. Well, we could pierce uh, that codex. No, why not? Okay, so I think our lead trooper moves up and a bit more shredding wouldn't hurt and on um, cover removal. 
is good as well. Okay. That works. Really? He dodged? That is stupid. But okay, whatever. Let's start with getting the enemies down. Interestingly, this here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What? What? I didn't even. Okay, well, that was a big misunderstanding. In which case, let's try to get the mech ourselves. It's injured, but still useful. Eh. Unfortunate. Good. Not a kill on the trooper, but close too. And let's get the Shogoth. Go for the trooper, guys. That's a good idea. <laughs> Not in melee, my friend. That'll potentially be the stupid uh, flashbang. Lance her down. Moves up. Edgar Allan Poe moves up. Tries to hit the mech, but unfortunately that's not as easy as it seems. Thanks to the disorientation we all are taking massive penalties. Done for zero? What? 
How does a stun for zero rounds work? Problem with that mech is it takes so many negatives on top of each other that we almost couldn't compete with it. Anyways, next turn, this orientation is hopefully gone. Okay, we can heal that up. Oh, finally, very good. A protocol into school, Jack. Come on, want to get that uh, codex and with it, give me that sweet, sweet avatar. I strongly advise that this is absolute idiotic. This is for you. Avatar takes some damage. Here is good. Double grenade. Let's get that avatar. Unfortunately dodged like a true pro. Potentially out of reach. <sighs> I don't like it, but we need to leave him there. Very likely. Get over 
Roll, roll. Gets that little bit healing. I'm offering the lead trooper as the best possible option for them to shoot. Moving into cover again. Appears to be capable of repairing its physical wounds. Wow, 12 points of damage outright. Holy shit. Good, forcing the avatar around. Continuing to do that. Okay, Limpo moves up. And I take the win. We will likely need to just abandon the main mission. But that side mission was very much worth it. Okay, we just need to deal a lot of damage. Let's do this. Next round we're going to cluster up and move in. We have a clear target here. And if we can move in, we should be fine. One move there. On the move. One move there. I can handle that. Good. Everybody hides again in the shadows. Yeah, one more turn, then we can open it and just get out of here. Trading access 
Good, let's hack that. Getting a couple extra uh, days on the current research, good idea. Good, we have time. We have plenty of time. Door isn't opened yet, which means everyone here can actually move up. That was stupid. You're supposed to move to there. Okay, next turn, open, uh, hide everyone and then just rush out. Okay, we're hearing combat music. All right, back. So what we are going to do is Time to boogie out. And in order to boogie out, we need another ghost grenade. Here we go. Everybody goes grenades. Good. Opening the door. I promise you it's going to be the Berserker Queen. Unbelievable. VDM, for whatever reason, seems to be not concealable anymore. And instead has just triggered two packs. Okay, well. It is what it is. We're evacuating everyone here. Running. Enemy squad located. No way, uh, third squad. Okay. Well, that explains why we had so much extra spare time. Oh no, okay, well, I think we just lost. Okay, yep, I'm pretty sure the VIP will die. Unless everybody overwatches. Well, apparently everybody overwatches.
Good, VIP down to 1 HP. Interesting. <laughs> okay. What a crazy mission. Yeah, and reinforcements. Okay, I get it. We're not welcome anymore. Doom uh, is sort of stunned. Okay. So, we're still invisible, right? Right. Carry the unconscious unit. Roro moves to here. And we're evacuing all. Does that also mean our stunned friend gets out? No, apparently not. Do my time. Who knows? I mean, it's crazy that the Berserker Queen just AOE stuns although, and hits you, although she doesn't even know that you're there. Not sure if we're spotted out yet. Maybe, maybe not. Of course, one person needs to run uh, to spot him out. Because if no one has would have moved, we wouldn't have been spotted out. Okay, well, status confirmed. Target is eliminated. Yeah, this is not going to go well. Commander, we failed in our mission. We'll need to review our tactics and improve going forward. Wow. Wow, what a harsh. Uh, execution and all just because the VIP moved out I mean I get it I could have uh, evac'd uh, doom a bit earlier that way at least no one else would have died well except the um, the civilian of course Alright, Jeff, you did well. Good job. Saying gets a promotion. And I think we're going for uh, fire support. Okay, we can debate whether or not that was good or bad, but we at least got uh, the avatar out of it. Biggest challenge for me would be that we're, we've also lost a radio relay. And that typically means the continent bonus is gone. Together, we have succeeded in our task. OK. 
Okay, let's take a look here. Promotion and uh, the avatar project to reduce. That seems quite good. Dodge plus nine is great. And Intel on top of it isn't bad either. In terms of promotion, might as well make it eight days. And Ender Sanders would get a promotion out of it. Plus, we're making sure that we're definitely countering the Avatar project. Good. Volunteering army. Very strong. Do I want tactical analysis? Oh yeah, I want that for the mission. So, unfortunately, need to rebuild that tower. So another six days gone. Good. Tail and rounds. Not bad. Not great either. And we finally got the suit. Avatar autopsy is not a no go at the moment. That's okay. A tactical analysis back which means now is maybe the right time for our biggest coup yet which is the portal mission I like what I'm seeing so off we go and that will be it. Uh, that's going to be our next big mission. 69. Oh, wow. At least we don't need to fight against an avatar, which I would have hated. And yeah, it just looks like a lot of chrysalids there. But I think we could, uh, we could manage it. Anyways, uh, wish me luck. We are going to go into Operation Crypt Queen the next time, which is the last main step towards uh, Waterworld. If we are pulling this one off, and if we uh, finally manage to get that, I only need to research the uh, portal, then the avatar, and then we're good. We're golden. Uh, we are not getting much stronger anyway, so I don't want to draw it out uh, in a kind of lengthy process. We're just going to try to do that and then it's uh, water world relatively quick uh, afterwards. All right, guys, uh, I need all of the support. Leave me a few uh, motivating comments down below and uh, see you in two days. Bye bye.